Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy XManny87 here, bringing you another Marvel Legends review video. And this time what I have for you guys is the Target exclusive Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man and MJ 2-pack. Big thanks to my superhero wifey, Justine, for grabbing this at our local Target for me as an early birthday gift. Thank you so much, babe. Uh, if you want to follow her on Instagram, it's at Geek Chic Style. I will have a link in the description below. And with that said, here's a look at the packaging. We have Spider-Man, his two accessories here. Uh, MJ uh, with an alternate head and two alternate hands. Here's the uh, homecoming title right here on the bottom. On the side, you got a picture of uh, Zendaya as MJ here. <laughs> Spider-Man just chilling. Another picture of um, MJ. You got I Love DC pin and Midtown School of Science and Technology. That's pretty cool. Um, same thing on the side, on the back here is two pictures of them. I love this picture right here. Uh, and here's the bio students at the Midtown School of Science and Technology. Peter Parker and MJ experience the powers of Spider-Man firsthand when the web slinger must suit up to take down the vulture. And here's a logo of the Spider-Man homecoming logo there. And all right, let's get ready and crack this thing open. And here's a look at Spider-Man and MJ out of the packaging. I had fun taking pics with these figures, and it is great that we have a Zendaya MJ to add to our MCU shelf. So really happy to have this figure on hand. So we'll take a look at MJ first, and then we'll take a look at Spider-Man since it's pretty simple. I definitely want to cover Zendaya's MJ. And here we have the Zendaya MJ figure. She looks really, really nice. <laughs> despite the resting bitch face she has here. Uh, it's a really nice sculpt. You have the nice wavy curly hair, um, and that goes all around. That goes all around, which is really, really nice. Really like how they captured her uh, expression here <laughs> with the resting bitch face. I have a little line right there. I don't know what that is, but I also have it on the other side here, too, if I could just move my light. So, yeah, I have one there and there. I don't know if it was painted in enough to cover it, but it's it's weird. Anyway, really dope, really dope face sculpt here. The, the jacket is a new piece, so this whole mold right here, this jacket and the sleeves are a new piece. The t-shirt, the whole base of the body is based off the Jessica Jones Netflix action figure until we get here to the ankles where she has like ankle pants on and some ankle boots. So that's newly sculpted for this MJ. And this paint splotch unfortunately is, you know, it just went over the pants so that's a bummer. That sucks, but the rest of the body, the rest of the paint job itself is pretty nice. Maybe gets a little splotchy on the watch here. So, yeah, some paint missing right there on the wrist as you see here. But really, really cool. This girl is super beautiful, you know, in real life. And in the movie, they made her look like crap, man. <laughs> um, so, I, I just, I, I just didn't like uh this version of mj i guess well not so much this isn't mary jane watson this is michelle jones mj so you know they're going that route mary jane is a you know pretty much a redheaded knockout beauty of a model and uh they are different characters so um you know going with a different route for Peter Parker's romantic love interest for the movies. Um, but yeah, she is super beautiful in real life, man. Like, she's bad. Like, she's really bad. And I just think the movie, the movie did not make her look good. We'll see it far from home, but she still has that kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I guess you want to label it as nerdy look, but, you know, I guess they did that. So, uh, you know, PC type of reasoning. Because we can't talk about women's beauty anymore. Uh, but yeah, she, I'm still going to say it, she is beautiful though. Um, she has an alternate head, which I really like. So, 
take a look at that. Here is the alternate head, and it looks super good. I love this a lot. She <laughs> is definitely happy, <laughs> much happier with a ponytail. Uh, it is really nice, man. Again, with the hair texture, the hair scope thing, it is really, really cool. Man, she looks super cute here. I like, I just like the expression here, really do. Um, she looks real cute, real pretty. Like the ponytails, nice and puffy, really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, as far as hands go, uh, going back to paint, really, this is the only thing that's off. So for me, I feel like the hands are a lighter skin tone than the wrists. Uh, I, I, I've noticed that, especially when I put it towards the light. I just, it, it just stood out and I'm like, uh, I don't know. Uh, Could have been a little darker. But the cool thing about these hands is that um, if you have the Netflix Claire Temple figure, you know that she has the gloves, the claw gloves, and the nursing gloves. So you can actually remove them and swap them easily. And so now you can have regular hands for Claire Temple. So none of that nursing glove or bootleg Wolverine <laughs> gloves. So you can actually have her with normal hands and the skin tone matches, which is sweet. I really, really like that. So, you know. You'll find a way to utilize uh, Zendaya's extra hands if you want to. And as far as alt hand goes, you see here that she has an open hand, which she has nothing to hold. But as I was taking pictures, just kind of got creative and have her hold like a <laughs> some some prop, like a Pepsi or a uh, cola bottle. I think I have one here. So kind of get creative and, you know utilize this hand properly so I welcome any civilian looking character which is really really cool that they give us this MJ uh, she has a fisted hand as another alt hand so she can punch somebody but would have been cool if this hand was also a fist a closed fist but you know it's all good I really really like the way she came out um, yes, this is definitely, you know, my favorite figure out of the pack. And here is Spider-Man in all his yellow jacket glory. <laughs> so it's pretty funny to see the Spider-Man in a jacket. Cracks me up. I like the, uh, school here. I like the school logo right here. That looks pretty cool. The print came out really nice. Nothing sloppy there. The chest. Uh, the spider logo isn't fully painted in black. This is a new piece here, new mold. You got the sleeves for this jacket and obviously the jacket piece itself. It's two pieces. So you got the yellow jacket over the blue hoodie. We'll definitely take a look at that later. Going around the figure, looking at the paint job is really nice. I like this uh, design here. We got the new 52 DC <laughs> lines going through. Uh, the pants. So I like the pants on these as the lines here were a faded blue. That looks really cool. And I like the blue paint overall on this one better. I like that brighter blue. This one's a darker blue, but still, you know, looks nice. Everything is the same as the previous MCU Spider-Man. Um, as far as paint goes, I was just a little like chip there. And like I mentioned, the spider logo not being fully painted. Uh, the upper torso it is a new torso and I'll definitely show you that and as I said it's two pieces so here is the hoodie underneath and it is the weirdest looking hoodie you've ever seen like this hoodie has slits in it <laughs> and also the upper torso again as I mentioned that is new so on the back of this spider-man you see that this one is more flat this one bulges out a lot more and better detail on the spider logo right here uh, and as you see this is where it is a new upper torso because this one has butterfly joints this one doesn't so they just made it a new torso mold I guess to put the sleeves here with a new mold but I think it could have been done 
you know, to give this Spider-Man a butterfly joint with the sleeves. But, you know, I see where they wanted to save money on that part right there. But, again, looking at the side, as you can see, this one sticks out more. Definitely bulges out more. As whereas this one is just it's kind of like flat. And the cool thing about this figure is that you can swap the head. So if you want a Tom Holland head on this yellow jacket Spider-Man, <laughs> then you can absolutely do that. So here's a Tom Holland head on the yellow jacket Spider-Man suit. So looks really, really cool. I did take a picture of him like this. I think it looks really, really great. I like this a lot. And you can swap other heads. So here is the one head that came with the Mark 47 Iron Man, I believe. It was a two-pack, a Toys R Us exclusive. Man, I miss Toys R Us. But yeah, this one had like the winky eye going on here. So as you see that, that was kind of a strange choice there. And the other, I believe, single-carded MCU Spider-Man figure was from the Vulture Wave uh, with the lens you know, squinting, so I like this a lot. That looks super cool. As far as accessory goes, he comes with two whipping hands, and that's pretty much it, nothing extra. I really, really would hope that they would come out with wall crawling hands for the Spider-Man, um, or at least one of their MCU Spider-Mans. Definitely want to get them in more poses than just punching and flipping. Another cool thing, that uh, I did for one of my pictures was uh, so if you have the Star Lord headphones from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie wave, you can put it on him. So wanted to recreate that iconic poster scene where he's just laying down, listening to his headphones. So you could do that. It's gonna be a little loose, but you know, it's 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 workable. It's definitely workable. I feel like the WWE ones are. Uh, better to put on huh, maybe something like that i don't know but definitely wish that this set he did come with like headphones you know that that would have been cool as an additional piece to cover articulation on zendaya's mj you can move her head a good amount up man like that's super far up so her ponytail is a lot easier to move her head up the other one not so much but you can still get a good amount. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, that's not bad at all. And her head moves down that far, so really good. It moves left and right. Rocker, arms move all around. Arms move all the way up that much. And she's got single jointed elbows. Uh, wrist swivel. Wrist hinge. Her torso, same as Jessica Jones, so you're not going to get much forward. Uh, a decent amount back. You got the waist, or excuse me, torso swivel. Um, her legs make a full split that far apart. Her legs move that high and move that far back. She's got leg rotation, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and yep, oh yep, heel to the butt. And you got the ankles that move up, down, and you got the ankle pivot. As far as Spider Man goes, his head moves up, head moves down, head moves left and right, arms rotate all around, and he moves his arm that high. He's got bicep swivel, he's got double jointed elbows here, so they move back a good amount. He's got wrist swivel, wrist hinge, ab crunch down, ab crunch back, and he's got the waist swivel. His legs don't move that far apart. Legs move that far high, that far back. He's got some leg rotation, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, heel to the yellow jacket butt. Ankles move up, down, and he's got the ankle pivot. And that is it, guys. That is our Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming Target exclusive two-pack of Spider-Man and MJ. So my thoughts on it is the Zendaya MJ is definitely the highlight of the pack for me. I welcome any type of character in civilian form to add to my Marvel Legends. I think she will be a great addition to the MCU shelf 
to bolster that up. As far as, you know, if it's worth it for $39.99, for me, I'm looking at this pack as just like one figure. I know it's a two pack, but you know, if you just want the Zendaya MJ for $39.99, uh, nah, I would say wait on clearance, but that's hard to tell. You know, I can't predict when things are going to go on clearance. Like the last Into the Spider-Verse pack, you know, Spider-Man sells quickly. So I only saw that like maybe three times in stores total and then it was gone. But should have had more accessories for Spider-Man. Maybe like, you know, headphones or a backpack or something like that. Uh, but, you know. That was my review, and I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like rating on the videos. It'll show your support for my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment. We'll chat about it. Share and subscribe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. If you haven't, I'll leave a link on the description below. Once again, thank you to my lovely wife for getting this pack for me. And enjoy the slideshow of pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.